So today we are going to be talking about our beautiful, sexy contacts Zeiss uh, cinemated lens kit. Kind of like how we trick them out with all these beautiful parts. So first uh, we have the 18 f4, the 25 2.8, the 51.4, and the 80 to 200 f4. Um, these three primes are our workhorses for our commercial work. Um, when we get into a documentary situation, uh, we use this guy more. Um, it's a push-pull um, zoom lens, so it's really quick to be able to work with uh, in a running gun situation. It's not that great um, if you need to do a lot of follow focus work on the telephoto end. Um, so we're going to probably be on the lookout for a 135 and an 85 um, for that. But um, so what we did to these lenses uh, to cinema them was first on the back we put latex EF mounts. So latex is a company um, over in Europe that it's, an, it's a small machine shop, like a family-owned business, I believe, and they they make mounts that basically bolt on top of the existing mount. So a lot of times you just have to remove a small part or sometimes nothing at all. And then you don't have to worry about the like flex that a lot of times is in a temporary adapter. These are solid on here um, and they fit perfectly. They're pretty easy to do. And while we had the back kind of taken apart, um, we declick the apertures ourselves. Um, that can be a little scary because you're taking parts of the lens off and things can get a little crazy, but uh, I was very careful. The one thing I would recommend if you do that is buy top quality screwdrivers because the cheaper screwdrivers you can actually, uh, and in the 50 I actually had this happen, um, the tip of the screwdriver, the very tip, broke off because the screws have a lot of uh, tension so when you, you have to really put a lot of pressure on them when you're breaking them loose and it actually cracked the tip of the screwdriver off. Luckily I was able to get it out, go buy some quality tools and do the job right. So just heed that warning. Um, then we got the focus rings from, uh, from Cordavision uh, and I'll make sure I link to that on the website. They make the focus ring and also the, it's called a 77 millimeter Cine ring. So basically it gives you 77 millimeter filter threads in the front um, and then an 80 millimeter outer diameter here. So you can use the 80 millimeter uh, lens caps, the rubber lens caps, which we got these from Duclos uh, lenses. I'll also link to those. And you can also use filters uh, inside. So it's nice if you want to use a matte box, you can get the same size for every lens. Um, then we just bought a cheap adapter to go from whatever size the lens is up to those 77 millimeter rings. That way we can keep that if we sell the lens or whatever. That's a uniform part because that's like 30 bucks. The step up rings like six bucks. So we just bought individual step up rings and everything else is uniform. Um, so then our adapters, we shoot with an FS700 and also an a Sony A7S. Um, so we have for the A7S, we have the um, Photo Deox Visilux ND throttle. It's the EF to NEX. This has been working great for us. Um, it's nice because if you're switching lenses quickly on the A7S, you don't need to unscrew the variable ND off the front and put it back on. You just pop the lens off and then uh, put that back on, put the lens, new lens on. And we also use the Metabone Smart uh, EF to E mount adapter. So that's the uh, a speed booster, actually. So that makes both of our cameras basically are shooting full frame um, and it adds a little bit of speed to the lenses uh, on the FS. Then lastly, we use the Canon 500D close up filter. And this basically magnifies the image 1.5 times. Um, it's great quality and uh, it kind of. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like it might give a little bit of a slight swirly looking effect in the background, um, but it could just be me. Maybe it's just because I'm seeing everything so close up and it gives a even more blurry out of focus background, but it looks beautiful and we use it all the time. And then lastly, we use these uh, eight cases. Um, 
we keep all the lenses in these all the time, even in our Pelican, um, because we're always like, if we're doing a like more of a documentary shoot, which we do a lot of, we'll throw you know a few of these lenses into a sling bag, um, and then if they're kind of bouncing into each other, they're staying safe. Um, it's definitely worth protecting your investment in lenses because they can last your entire career, and that's what we're planning on with these, hopefully. Um, so if you have any questions, just put it down in the comments. If you like the video, like the video, and please subscribe so you can check out our next video.